Welcome to Voice of China Network. My name is Li Sha. Here are the headlines for today. The Christian Changchun Li Church of Jinan was forcibly demolished by officials from the Bureau of Religion. The Chinese government has launched a major crackdown against human rights attorneys. On June 9th, more than 30 house church leaders were arrested in Sichuan. Statement by Secretary Clinton on the 20th anniversary of Tiananmen Square. On June 2nd, in Washington, D.C., China aide President Bob Fu spoke before members of the U.S. Congress at the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission hearing. Chinese Christian leaders and others gathered for a solemn assembly in Washington, D.C. in the evening of June 4, 2009 for the 20 years anniversary after the massacre in Tiananmen Square. Here are the details. News report. News from China Aid. June 15, 2009. China Aid learned that on June 8th and June 9th, leaders from government sanctioned organizations in Jinan, municipality of Shandong province, colluded with officials from the Bureau of Religion to forcibly take over and demolish the Christian Changchun Li Church of Jinan. The China Christian Council and Three Self Patriotic Movement signed a secret deal with the government and real estate developers to close the church without informing the church members or the pastor. News from Beijing. The Chinese government has launched a major crackdown against human rights attorneys, canceling or refusing to renew the licenses of at least 21 attorneys who have challenged the communist government's abuse of Chinese citizens. Many of the attorneys have been working closely with China Aid's legal defense efforts for religious freedom cases. News from Sichuan. On June 9th, more than 30 house church leaders were arrested while gathering in a house church in Langzhong City, Sichuan province. 13 leaders were given 15 days of administrative detention, and five of the leaders were placed under criminal detention. The other leaders were released. News from Washington, D.C. Statement by Secretary Clinton. Message on the 20th anniversary of Tiananmen Square. On this 20th anniversary of the violent suppression of demonstrations in Tiananmen Square by Chinese authorities, we should remember the tragic loss of hundreds of innocent lives and reflect upon the meaning of the events that preceded that day. Hundreds of thousands of protesters took to the streets for weeks in Beijing and around the country, first to honor the late reformist leader Hu Yaobang and then to demand basic rights denied to them. This anniversary provides an opportunity for Chinese authorities to release from prison all those still serving sentences in connection with the events surrounding June 4, 1989. We urge China to cease the harassment of participants in the demonstrations and begin dialogue with the family members of victims, including the Tiananmen mothers. China can honor the memory of that day by moving to give the rule of law, protection of internationally recognized human rights, and democratic development the same priority as it has given to economic reform. News from USA. On June 2nd, in Washington, D.C., China aide President Bob Fu spoke before members of the U.S. Congress at the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission hearing, 20 years after the crackdown, Tiananmen Square, and human rights in China. Bob Fu joined other former student leaders in the movement, Fang Zhen, Zhou Feng Suo, Wang Yu Sai, to share their experiences and insights regarding the students' movement and their vision for the future of China. More details. There are thousands of stories connected to the 1989 events we now refer to as Tiananmen Square. And as we begin our hearing, I would like to take a moment to remember the hundreds, perhaps thousands, who were murdered in Tiananmen Square or later imprisoned or sent into exile. I want to remember the families, the friends, and the colleagues of those who died and those who survived. Our witnesses today uh, are but four of these voices. 
but we are privileged and we are honored to have them here and we look forward to their testimony and their reflections on Tenement Square 20 years after the crackdown. Mr. Feng Zheng, we'll, Feng Zheng, we'll begin with you. Thank you for this opportunity to talk with you about my experience at Tamar Square demonstration and the related developments during the next 20 years. Instead, as you all have seen, the Chinese government started a war and arranged over 200,000 soldiers to kill the students and the citizens at that square. That, that tank man who was in front of that uh, Chinese military tank. But not a lot of people know that there are so many who just uh, simply crushed and lost their lives at the Dupuko area. At Dupuko, I know um, there are so many. And I, I was fortunate, uh, I, I did to survive. But I know that so many lost their lives. And so many, like me, was caused to disable forever by the Chinese uh, military forces. The tension between demanding democracy and against democracy becomes severe, and thus the controlling media, dissidents, and human rights defense become tight in recent years than ever. However, we also need to acknowledge that the freedom of economy and society stands a lot. Around Tiananmen Square, I saw people fleeing being carried away. Even I, I found this would happen. I couldn't believe it. Just as Fang Zheng has testified, the students were leaving Tiananmen Square peacefully when the tank ran from behind and crushed many people who are as young as I was. I was asked to speak up uh, about my experience at Tiananmen Square, the movement itself, and the discussion of this question how do we go from 